Okay, the first demo here, uh, the UX21, which is here, is powering a 1080p display over HDMI, and I have a um, game controller with me. The game is uh, GTR Evolution, downloaded from Steam, it's a 2008 game, and I'll just give you a little uh, demo of what's going on here. So, frame rate is uh, really good. This is on default settings. As you can see, it's not uh, not a 1080p capable game. I think the resolution is actually um, much lower than 1080p, but it looks pretty good on this monitor. And everything is very smooth. As you'd expect really from a 2008 game, right? Oops, and I'm not very good at this. That's GTR Evolution. Uh, let's play that on the screen on the, U uh, on the UX21. Okay, just starting up the game on the UX21 itself now on the UX21 screen. 1366x768. We're running in high performance mode uh, with mains power connected. So let's uh, let's go for a drive. Ah, I need to set the controller up. Okay, let's do it with the uh, keys. Again, everything really smooth. Trying to do it with arrow keys is a nightmare. Let's uh, zoom out for you just to show you that I am actually using the UX21. There's the UX21. Okay, now Pinball HD from the Intel App App Store. See how quickly that loads. Welcome to the deep, big underwater adventure. You're standing inside the most perfect submarine. So. Your ship is ready to launch. You have got permission. Please follow the checkpoints. There you go, Pinball HD from the App App Store on the uh, UX. Okay, this is Half Life 2 on yeah um, default settings, and um, we are on mains power in performance uh, performance mode. 
and the mouse and the keyboard don't work together very well on this. So you'd need an external mouse, of course. But the frame rate is really smooth. I find it helpful at times like these to remind myself that our true enemy is instinct. Instinct was our mother when we were an infant species. Instinct kept us safe in those hard scrambled years when we were ballistic, darkened the fields, the fire, and started at the shadows that leapt upon the cavern. See what frame rate we get. Okay, I've just uh, turned. The, I've just taken the mains power out. Uh, the frames per second has dropped down now to something a bit lower. 60, 70 still. We're in a high power mode. 40. Down to about 40 frames per second there. Let's go into battery saving mode. Uh, entertainment, quiet office, battery saving, ignore that flashing stuff. Uh, so we're in battery saving mode now, and that is down to 20, 25 frames a second. A little bit jerky, not that, not that nice at all to be honest. And that's at a fairly basic uh, scene. Let's get ourselves zapped so we can do this. Yeah, that drops down to 30 frames a second. And it's Half-Life 2. So here we're taking a look at World of Warcraft and uh, before we start let's just uh, show you what uh, graphic settings we've got. No power uh, here. We're running on battery and we're running in performance mode. Good graphics, vertical sync disabled. Okay, let's, uh, we've got the frames per second showing at the bottom here, and that's currently showing a stable 27 frames per second. So let's have a, a little, little uh, move around. And, watch, and I'll read out the frames per second. 25, 26, 27, 26, 25, 28, 31. Let's go somewhere where there's a bit of action. And 30, 34, 36, 32. It seems to be fairly stable and it's quite usable. Uh, really no problems with that. I mean, obviously smoother gets better. Sorry, faster frame rates get better, but that's 32 and that's, I think, probably the lowest level of playability uh, frame rate you could, uh, you could really have. Let's now plug in uh, mains and see what uh, see what we get in terms of frame rate once we connect the uh, the mains. Okay, we're in mains power now. I'm uh, looking at the frame rate. Not much difference. Uh, 28, 30, 32, 33, 35, 36. Maybe a, a little bit of improvement there. That's a fairly heavy. Scene 25 frames a second, fair bit going on. Thirty-one, thirty-three. So let's turn VSync on and put the uh, detail up to full. So we go to options. We're going to go to ultra graphics here. We're going to enable vertical sync to get the best uh, screen or anti tear. Although I didn't see much tearing in in that and let's see what we get to now oh wait I didn't do it properly so apply and okay things have changed 14.6 <laughs> 15 17 17 and really dropping down there as we get to a busier scene 15, 15, and you really do notice the difference now, and that's really not a very exciting experience at all. Jerky, just feels old and unplayable like that. 
Remember we're on mains mode here with high performance battery settings. Going to switch the graphics to fair. We're on native screen resolution here. Turn to game. So now we're talking 55, 60 frames a second. There really, uh, really no problem. And there's headroom there for some really detailed scenes or complex scenes as well. Now I'm going to turn the graphics down to low. Put the screen to 12. 80 by uh, 7, uh, I'll have to be 1280 by 600 I think wide screen let's see what happens now okay that's gonna re-enter right so slightly uh, slightly different look now you can see a lot of the scenery has gone but we have a frame right now of 124 144 frames per second here 125, 135, 137, 122, 120 120 yeah so a lot of the scene detail has gone but um, if you're a big World of Warcraft player and you want to get something done on the go if you've got a fight to fight this might be the way to do it and in fact 50 frames a second with a sort of medium detail in fact let's go to full detail with this with this mode here 1280 by 600 applying that return to game we've got some scenery back 21, 16, 18, oh that's, that's worse than uh, native resolution so then going back to native resolution with um, VSync disabled and low graphic settings. Let's see what we get. It's going to come back in in a second. Uh, control R oh, frame rate. Oh, yeah, so with native, you're still up at 120, 100, 115. Really not bad at all there. So there are options. Uh, let's have a look what we can get out of this on battery light, uh, battery power with low. So I'm in battery power mode at the moment with uh, full performance mode. So this will last about uh, two hours max in this mode. The UX is the UX21. Remember, with a 35 watt hour battery, low graphics settings, 100. And well, 100 frames a second, I think, is fair. 103, 94, 109, 90. Between 90 and 110 there. And then to bring it all the way back round to the start, let's go back to good settings, native screen resolution, battery power, high performance mode, and then we are back at the 30 frames a second, which is probably the minimal minimum you'd want to see on War of Warcraft. So there it is, World of Warcraft, I think that's a good um, reference point for graphics. This applies to all Ultrabooks here. There's going to be plus minus two or three percent between all the Ultrabooks in terms of uh, perf graphics performance, 3D performance, because they all use the same GPU. There we are, World of Warcraft on the Asus UX21 Ultrabook. This is Core i7 1.8 GHz. Thanks for watching.